This problem is question two from the 2015 paper two, time zone two. We can see it is a vector problem, one of those ones that I know you would all love uh, so much. So we're asked to just do some operations um, on these two vectors. So let's get right to it. So the first thing, we are asked to do u dot v. Remember that what this means is to take each pair of components together, the i's, the j's, and the k's, uh, multiply their magnitudes, and then add them together. So u dot v is going to be 6 times 2 plus 3 times 2 plus 6 times 1. Adding those together, we get 24. Uh, the second thing for that first part is we are asked to find the magnitude of u. The magnitude of u... Um, remember, this is a 3D vector, but just because it's 3D, it doesn't change what we do with the Pythagorean theorem. This is going to be the square root of uh, 6 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. Simplifying that. Wow, that's messy. Um, that's all right. <laughs> so <laughs> magnitude, putting all of that together. We end up with uh, the square root of 81, I believe, when we put that all together, which simplifies to just 9. And the second part, uh, the third part, rather, uh, it's the same thing, nothing different. Um, just to give you an idea of how the marks are distributed, um, so coming up with just the magnitude of V, same exact approach, you get 3 when you ultimately um, simplify everything up. Uh, you get one answer point for the substitution into this formula. You get an answer point for this and an answer point for this as well. So that's uh, three of those points. And the other two um, for part A, using the dot product formula correctly and then coming up with that answer. That's uh, two points, two and three, adding up to the five for this problem. For B, finding the angle between these two things, uh, I'm always a fan of going back to this definition, u dot v is equal to the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle between them. The reason I like this is that this is one uh, equation that relates the dot product from a vector standpoint to kind of a numerical standpoint on the right-hand side, and we can just rearrange this to get that cosine of theta is going to be the dot product of those two vectors divided by the product of the magnitudes of the vectors. Uh, we already have the uh, dot product because we did that in part A. So this is going to be 24 up top. In the denominator, we have the magnitude of u, which is 9, times the magnitude of v, which is 3. Um, this ends up just being... 8 ninths, I believe, so 8 ninths. And so to find theta, uh, we're just going to use inverse cosine. So the exact value, inverse cosine of 8 over 9. And if you are in degree mode, you'll get uh, something like 27.26604 dot 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 degrees. Or if you're in radian mode, you'll get 0 0.47588 two dot 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 that's radians um, one or the other is fine there's no preference because it doesn't say to give the measure in degrees just make sure because this is a paper two question that you end up writing those answers with three significant figures so 27.3 degrees or 0 0.476 radians